Hey everybody, welcome to episode. Ah, oh, look at it, so cute. <laughs> welcome, I think, to episode 35 of Let's Build Minecraft. I am running low on food as usual, so just collecting some wheat to contribute to said food needs. How are you guys? Welcome all the new subs. If you haven't seen, for those of you old subs, I put a new de uh, detail tutorial um, outlining some of my designs for fireplaces. Some of them you've seen here, uh, some of the simpler ones, and some of them you will see here. I think I've got plans for some of the bigger ones around here. But um, all you new guys, hi, how are you? <laughs> um, yeah, here we are. Let's build. So if you if you are new, oh, that was dumb. If you are new, uh, this is a series where I it's a building focus. Let's play. You won't see much redstone. Um, I'm using shaders, uh, John Smith texture pack. Let's get rid of these seeds. And there was some wheat floating here for me. There, that should. Last us the episode. Can't wait till we get to the new patch where where food isn't quite so um saturation lasts longer. Let me turn up this a little bit. I like to keep it kind of low when I'm recording, but that was a little too low. Um Yeah, so this is our first major town that we've been doing. I do have another town. Uh but you know it, we're still working on it. It's in very early stages, and I came here to do a farming town. Let's go to a house that actually has a bed. Came here to do a farming town, and this one doesn't have a bed either. Um, oh, I removed the bed out of that one. So yeah, this is it. Let me get somewhere, because I know that this is probably pretty hard for you to see. This is what we just saw, the Farmer's Guild, which is the main thing that we've been working on. Right here, this is the entrance, going through the gate, and here it is. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. I really like this building. Let's take a look over here, get a good look at the whole thing. Last episode, we did this section, along with this tower. I'm not sure if I like this wall, but i um, not worried about it right now. So today... Today, um, I'm kind of tired of working out the walls on this thing. Working out the walls and outside and everything. And I've been craving interiors. So I'm not much of an interior guy. We did interior in here. And I think it turned out pretty good for the barracks. Right? Then here, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work out some sort of a bathroom situation here. I was going to do like try to do curtains here. Not done yet. Not done, and I it might turn into something else. I don't know. But what we have been working on, let's go through the front so we can have a reveal like you're supposed to. Because I like to think of things as how are you going to see it for the first time? You're going to come through here. You're going to open this door, and inside you go. So today is all about floor plans. When you have large buildings, this is the largest building that I'll have ever completed or done an interior for. Um, it's not the biggest thing I've ever built, um, but I completed, yeah, probably. And something that always intimidated me was floating blocks of dirt, was floor plans. How the heck do you make a building look good on the inside? And something that I realized, I'm going to use Skyrim for an example, because I've been playing Skyrim a lot lately. If you, uh, by the way, if you like Skyrim, I'm doing a modded Skyrim. It's permadeath, um, kind of silly, um, about 100 mods, and yeah, try not to die. Um, go check that out. But if you think of Skyrim, I'm going to use that as an example because a lot of people know it. Think of the castles in it. So let's say the um, castle, I think castle palace i think it's the blue palace in solitude you walk into it there's a grand entrance everybody knows that or even dragon's reach but then there's doors on the sides and there's hallways and they just kind of lead to rooms right if you showed me or asked me to draw an overhead map of the layout of the rooms i couldn't tell you 
I don't know what the layout's like. When you're making a layout like this, it's really easy to put too much thought into how it looks from like a floor plan, just looking at the floor plan. It, don't put so much thought into it because the, the floor plans for those castles could be like ugly. Like just look at them. There could be a bunch of empty space for all I know. And I don't know. And it's fine. Those things are great examples for good castles, right? So what I wanted was you come in. There's some sort of grand entrance. Nothing really going on here but for decoration and lots of room. And I want it to go up to some sort of throne or something. This isn't really a castle as much as we're calling it the Farmer's Guild. It's not big enough to be a castle. I don't know what you would want to call it. So it goes up here. And another thing that we talk a lot about on this channel is starting building with what you know you want. So sometimes you don't know how you want the floor plan to be. You don't know what you... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm repressing a burp. Oh, okay. You don't know what a design is going to look like, but if you have an idea, you can start with that and you can expand on it. Just just build what you know you want. So I knew that I wanted this and coming up here. I knew that it had to be high enough to have rooms underneath here. That's why I have it the height that I want it at. Then we have these windows here and I know that I want a room right here, right? Because if not, then we, we leave this open leave a really high ceiling for down here. But that's not really what I'm... We can't do that because we have a hallway there that leads to this tower. And we need a way to get this t to this hallway. So, one thing just leads to another. How do we get over here? Well, there's nothing really over here. There's no room. We could... We can't really do stairs over here because there's going to have to be stairs going up right here. So... That would make our options stairs going straight up right here, and that's just bad. That wouldn't look good. It wouldn't f be good functionally. Or right here, and that's right for the windows. It's like a weird angle. Um, that that's just it, that's also an awful, an awful decision. So that pretty much leaves over here. So you could come up on stairs. So you could have like a staircase like this right to get up here and i i had planned it out that way i put down some dirt like that because i've got a rough outline of what i want today and i was like well or we could have you get over there by a little balcony type overhang over here and that would be really good for the reason that it would break up the symmetry in here there will be something up here that you can see you could see people walking up there i mean if you saw people walking up there if there were people here this side would be different than this side break up the symmetry um it gives a nice feeling walking up here and looking down so that's what we went with then we have windows up here so there's gonna be a floor right here Again, that's it's gonna tie in, having to bring from here to up there. Then I wanted hallways. I wanted all uh I wanted how hallways. Hallways. I wanted hallways on the sides of here. So I added them. There's gonna be doors right here and right here. This is gonna lead into what I'm assuming I'm I was thinking dining room right here, but that's it's not big enough to, for a dining room really maybe um you know maybe just some sort of decorative room then maybe over here we have a stairway going up and a stairway going down we have a basement it's just like what you have room for what needs to go where it, it really worked out well in this case you've got to be conscious about space we also have the opportunity to add doors right here and then some sort of room here. All Back here we have tons of room to play with. Lots of stuff that we can do. Right here, there's a, you know, this is gonna have to combine here somehow. So that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm not gonna get anything super big done. 
But let's get started anyway. I want to start off with stairs. Huh, we I thought about do you want to use different kinds of wood on the interior? And I decided that I'm not going to for the most part keep it to birch and oak. I don't think it would be a problem to do it like that. Use a different kind of wood, a different material. But I'm going to go with what I know is going to work. So we could have a staircase there. There's going to be a wall right here. We could have some sort of spring down that. I want to get rid of that dirt block entirely. It's driving me crazy. Don't throw away the wood. We want the wood. So right. Uh, this will look a lot better when everything's enclosed. And let's actually just go ahead and close everything up a little bit over here. Just to get a feeling for it. So this is not going to go there. This is going to go right here. We know that for sure. So we can get an idea. This is probably going to be wood as well. See, now that makes me want to change this to a different material. Possibly stone. That would match what we have there. But then that would make this match that and I don't know that I want that so let's go with birch because this area up here is birch so this little kind of stuff like this that you gotta think about what you're working with and what you've used so let's get that make our stairs see how that looks and Make sure that we can see. Let's just put one right there for now. So yeah, that doesn't feel too bad. Big area right here. There is a way up here, by the way. So I guess we didn't have to have a way up here. But I like it this way. I like that stairs there. I think. All this is subject to change. Keep that in mind. Now do we have any walls? We do have walls now. Just put a wall right there and right there. Now remember this is the interior. I kind of want that to look like a railing and it kind of does. Do we need this block right there? We do. But we can try to make it look a little bit better for what we're doing like that. Let's just make this. A lot of these when you've when you've done the outside first, a lot of times this happens. And it's not going to look so great. So let's just do this. It is getting so dark so fast. If only we had a place to sleep. Oh crap, I blocked off my way into the barracks. So this is another problem that I have. The only way to get into the barracks is from the outside or coming into here and going down. And I guess that's fine. I guess seems fun to me or you can come out here see it's it's so strange how I, I didn't go that far I got from here to being over there I don't know for if you didn't understand the layout of this building you were just wandering around I feel like and this is something that I like to think about a lot by the way when I'm building about how an immersed person doing all this for the first time would feel if somebody walked up here they came over here like oh look stairs they go down here oh there's a doorway over here come out here oh we're in the courtyard how did we get here that's a cool feeling to me if you're new then you probably haven't seen this huh this is our windmill i built this in a somewhat tutorial style um step by step Let's build episodes. If you go back and look, it's like uh, Windmill Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. I think it's three parts. So if you want to know how to build something like this, I do have a, a way to show it. Um, I really like this design, though. Um, both the, the blades not being straight up and down and across. And also down here, we have a stone mill. So just all in all, I really do enjoy this, this build. And... 
other than that house is the first thing that got built here and we've got this farm surrounding it too there's a chicken coop right here with the best use of doors that you'll ever see um if i can find yeah see chickens in there i thought it looked pretty good for that actually those are the acacia doors in this texture pack i don't actually use that chicken coop for anything <laughs> there's so many animals running around here there's an animal pond would you like to join your friends well, that's too bad you're gonna so, I went and gathered some polished diorite in my secret hidden lab, uh, not lab, but my secret laboratory, my secret, uh, mines, yeah, mines, you know, the thing that this game was named after, yeah, that word. Um, I ran down and got some diorite. I want to see what this would look like if we just made it flat diorite, would it look too checkered or whatever you want to call this yeah see whatever is going on here i don't like that <laughs> what does polished andesite look like in this i'd almost feel like it'd be better if i completely did this in polished andesite it does look a little bit better doesn't it let me try something here Gonna need more diorite though. I didn't like the andesite, I decided. It just looked, I don't know. I'm kind of struggling at the moment trying to think of how you, excuse me if you can hear me moving around in my chair. I'm struggling with nice floor plans. Normally I would just do flat wood, stone, something. That's not really going to cut it in the entrance here. So I thought, well, what if we brought some color in here and also depth? Um, looking at from, you know, this does add depth. It is noticeable to me. Let's actually extend this. Yeah. Then we can even have it up here. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> that would look really weird having it every other. Um, it looks all right to me. I think if we have the everything out here wood, then it would actually look all right. So let's throw down a bunch of birch wood and see how that looks. I actually do like that, but I'm wondering about one more thing. If possibly, we've been following this design of having cobblestone. First of all, why is this cobblestone? Can we not have you just be in one little spot? It's got, it's got to change over here, too. What was I thinking? I'm a horrible builder. You guys should be watching me. Um, Two different woods meeting each other right here. This is throwing me off a little bit. It's, I'm not saying that two different woods meeting each other is a bad thing. But right here, I think that if we gave the interior, at least right here, the same treatment of having a layer of cobblestone we'll call it cobblestone trim and it, it probably kind of look like molding or whatever the correct term for that would be so let's try it out just to see it will definitely create a a much sharper difference and that does look pretty good to me i do like that so Repeating outside themes inside, in this case, is working pretty good for us, I think. I haven't done this side yet. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'd am I'm have to build more large buildings like this before I said for sure whether that's something that I would say do every time. So I'm not going to advise you if you're building something like this, like, hey, follow outside themes on the inside. But in this case, it seems to look pretty good. So I'm going to finish up this side. Then we can take a little bit better of a look at it. We've got this finished up. I think it looks pretty good. I do like it. It's going to look really good when everything's detailed in here. We're just going to throw like decorative stuff like tables with 
you know, pots on it and um, eh, armor stands. Armor, if we had a few armor stands lined up against the wall, I think that would look pretty cool. Um, you have to think, this is like the entrance to a public thing, a public building. So not going to be any chests or anything, I don't think. But next thing that I want want to throw in here is something that ties in everything. And that's going to be this this thing right here. And I want I want the edge of it to be stone. It'll match this being the outside trim of the floor design. Not trim, but whatever. Um, this should also be... Uh-oh, you can see how cheap I am using slabs. Where are... Yeah, let's use more slabs. That looks better. Um... I wanted that to match it, just kind of a common theme. So you're gonna come up here and let's just plan this out. And then you're gonna walk over here. We should probably make it the same floor as this. So I'm gonna throw some birch over here and we can get a good look at it. Now we get a really good feel for what this is gonna be like in here. Let's Let's walk out here and get a proper feeling of coming in here. So we come in, open up, and that's a pretty good sized room, I think. We could have maybe gone a little bigger um, with the hallways, not really. You know, there's a little, this is already shoved in there pretty good. You can't have a any smaller of a spot right there. This, I could have extended this wall out a little bit. This is or I'm planning to have a wall on this side. And then that we just place down and we get a good feel for it. We come up here, you walk over here, there'll be a railing. Let's just say, you know, like that, <laughs> except a lot more. Let's actually put one down. It's made out of cobblestone in this order on the crafting bench. Go like that. So from up here, looking down, you know, this looks cool, you know. that's That looks like a really big room from down here. I was worried about it looking too enclosed with this thing right here. But no, that looks good. What brings more cobblestone up here and not just down here. So then that brings us up here which we'll have to decide more about, I think, when this wall gets put in. Because what happens here is gonna determine what kind of rooms are over here on this floor, or vice versa. What kind of space we have for rooms over here is gonna determine what we have up there. We can see over here, you know, we've got this little bit of space over here. And let's just fix this. <laughs> it looks so bad. Let's fix it. Just get some, there, there it is. I was like, I know I have some oak wood somewhere, but I just cannot see it. Let's just put that there. And close that off. Just close off completely. This is going to have to be fixed and meshed in together somehow. This, this different slab of wood here, it's weird. It's going to have to work somehow though, and it will, I think. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this episode. I really, uh, and I know for those of you who are new, I usually get quite a bit done in each episode. Or I try to get, you know, set one thing aside, like, do a tower when i when i first designed this tower over here i was like all right i'm gonna build this tower in this episode and then we do it and i kind of walk you through it and i talk about my thought process and the design and that's the thing that i'm really big on um actually talking about how i come up with this stuff today we didn't get a whole lot done um not as much as usual i really just wanted to spend a lot of time talking about build theory is that the right word um, the thought process that goes behind, into all of this and, you know, interiors is a 
something that you could probably talk about for quite a while. So I thought that I got quite a bit of good information put in there and we're back here. So yeah, um, I like to like to share my thoughts and teach or try to, I'm not the best builder ever, but I like to try to teach in my videos and that's what we were doing today. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm getting to is off camera stuff like this wall is probably gonna be pretty boring. It's probably gonna be similar to this wall over here, just different height. The back wall is gonna be pretty boring because it's gonna be against trees and stuff. So that I'm not gonna do um, on camera. Although do, I do have plans over here and I'll walk over here show you guys because some of you guys probably don't know about it. I do have like a, a harbor or a ship area. There's this little island over on the other side of the river right here. And I want to use it for a docking area. That's my bridge that I never use. We can look at it while we swim across instead of using it. Yeah, I have a lighthouse over here, which also isn't done. The interior isn't done at all. So it looks really weird. It looks hollow because it is hollow. Funny how that works. So um, I think next episode we might like do the layout of this area here and make it feel much more complete. Maybe throw some boats in. I don't know. That island's got to go. I feel like we need more room out here. And that that really makes this water area here feel much more claustrophobic. So I'm going to I'm going to destroy that, take it down. Look at the color of the leaves in the uh where are we in? Beach. Those leaves are very ugly. Not gonna lie. These leaves, not so much. These leaves, ugh. ugh. I don't like the beach leaves. <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah. Sorry that I didn't get a ton done tonight. But, uh, you know, we learned some things together. And it took quite a bit of thinking. So I hope you guys learned something with me. Should do an interior on this sometime too. Uh, thank you for watching though. If you like them, leave a like and subscribe. Give me a comment on what you'd like to see or if you have any ideas or thoughts, let me know. I'd love to hear. So thank you everybody. Bye.